I went to save last episode, and I saw this bastard right here, and I was just like, do I catch this on camera or no? Either way. Bup. Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Arya's Story. In the last episode, we witnessed a rather heartwarming moment between Arya and Lewin. And now we are in a new part of the romance section of the library. And after opening up a copy of The Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen, we are now tasked with gathering five fish. We already have one, so we're off to a good-ish start. That's just a matter of finding the other four. And not walking in front of the spindle, because we know what happened last time. Doesn't seem to be any fish here, though. So let's see. Any in here? We already. Wait, what's in here? Did we look in here? We did not look in here. Or if we did, I don't remember looking in here. There's a book over there, but I can't get to them. Is there a staircase over there? No? Let's see. Romance books. Oh. These are... Oh shit. We can move those, I guess? So, I think I may have just made it worse. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here, honestly. I wish I could talk to that book, though. Maybe they have something that, uh, maybe they have something they can say about this. Will it reset if we leave and come back in? Nope. So, uh, oh boy, I hope I didn't just fuck everything up. That's okay, though, I'll just reload both from the last save, if need be. For the time being, though, any other... Was this here before? I don't remember. Uh... Oh, right, this door is locked. Any other fish around here, then? Oh! There we go. That's two. There are many books on the floor. It reminds me of my room. And you should clean your room. <laughs> he makes a good point. Because just like, if you don't clean your room, and you're like me, you'll procrastinate, and then your room will just get dirtier and dirtier. And then when you finally realize, man, I really need to clean my room, it's going to be a massive pain and you're just going to be groaning the entire time. So just like, pick up after yourselves, okay? We have this conversation before. I think I saw something behind the bookshelf. Eh? 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 No. Hmm. Alright, this is just a statue of a mermaid. Can we ride this boat? No? Okay. Hmm. The fact that we can hear a constant heartbeat in uh in in this area kind of makes me just a tad uncomfortable, just a little bit. So let's see. Did we go up here? The bookshelf is decorated with elegant roses. Oh, how nice. Still no fish here though. I don't trust that. <gasps> okay. Oh! Oh, this is the thing! I, hello, book! Can you give us some hints about whatever the fuck's happening here? Why don't you try walking above the bookshelves? You might find something interesting if you try. Hmm. Poison interesting point.
Okay. So I think we've checked pretty much everywhere else, unless, like, maybe one of the fish went... Oh! Do you like chess? Yeah, it's one of my favorite games. Really? I love it, too! <laughs> Let's play together one day. Heh. <laughs> I accept your challenge. Aww. You wanted to kill her at first, but now they're bonding, and that, 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 that really warms the cockles of my heart. Okay, maybe a fish went in here? Yes? No. Never mind. Sorry, did we check behind the statues or anything back here? Nope. This door is locked. Okay, so we can definitely tell that there aren't any fish in the area that we just left. So, hmm. I guess we're supposed to figure out what's happening here? Okay, so I should be able to unfuck my fuck up if I just... There we go. But I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. Is there some sort of hint about, like, the colors or something? Well... Hmm... That book did say try walking above them, and this seems to be the only one we can't really budge. So, maybe we have to, like, put them in a row? So, let's see. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Go. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Hopefully that'll get something done. Walk up here. Oh! Okay. There's a feather here. We better save. These books seem interesting. It's a shame I don't have the time to read them. Hmm. around make sure there's nothing yeah what's in here fish gotcha okay oh okay wait no yeah those are rose petals okay so cool there was just a fish in here let's let's save real quick now that we have said fish before we like poke around between any of the bookshelves. I'm still, like, paranoid after that one bookshelf trap. Cause just, like, uh, I know they probably won't pull the same shit twice, but, like, part of me is just paranoid that it's gonna happen again. Oh, wait! There's a shiny thing. So there's a book called White and Black. Long ago, there were two kingdoms that lived in peace and harmony, the White Kingdom and the Black Kingdom. The princesses of each ki kingdom were together ever since they were born. However, those happy days ended when a war raged between the two kingdoms, and the princesses had to be separated. 
The war seemed endless, and the streets of the two kingdoms were stained in a scarlet color. The princesses, now queens, tried to stop the absurd war that their parents had begun, but failed. When they realized that the war would only end when one of the two kingdoms surrendered, they devised a plan together. The two went to the battlefield, each holding a silver knife. With those knives, they pierced each other's hearts. Scarlet roses bloomed from their hearts, begin because of the love they felt for each other. The war finally ended. Um, what do you think about this book? Why do you ask? Uh, I was just curious. It doesn't matter. Forget I asked you that question. Lewin, did you write this book? Just like... Just out of curiosity, did, did did you happen? Daddy, Daddy! What was that? Is that the book that we just read? Oh, did I just hit the nail on the fucking head? Do we need to pick up that phone because I called it? Daddy! What? Daddy? Wait, that means... Lewin, you wrote this book! No! Yes, it makes sense. For a book, its writer is like a parent. You're wrong. I'm not... Daddy? Ugh, don't cry. I knew it! You're the author of this book! Well... Yes, I wrote it, but... Please, I want your autograph! Daddy! Mm. Ugh, you're both so annoying! But... Mm. I'm glad to meet you. Now return to your bookshelf and go back to sleep. Okay, Daddy! Let's keep exploring. So, about that autograph... <laughs> Aw, are we not getting one? Can we read it one more time, or... Okay, we can read it, but that's about it. Huh. Oh, hello. There's a knife on the floor. Oh boy. Self-defense. Oh, it's a silver knife. I have a bad feeling that I may know what we need to do with this. Probably, anyway. It's just a wild guess. Oh, wait. Fish! There we go. So that's... Four fish! We just need one more. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! I'm having the strangest sense of deja vu right now because the fucking statue's gone. I'm afraid. Hi. Bye. No, 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 no. I'm going back to my safe feather where it's fucking safe. Thanks. 70. 70 saves because I am fucking paranoid. Wait, we've been here before. Uh, I'm wondering if this knife has something to do with the chest-like door that we- yeah, hi. I've heard some strange noises coming from that room, but I don't want to enter. Well, let's find out. Ooh, fish. That's all five. End of the story. Mmm. Let's let's go. Let's go. We have we have all the fish. So let's just save and just Hopefully, hope that we don't have to go back to that room or the hallway with the move statue because, hmm, 
I don't feel like taking a statue to the noggin again, or to the anything for that matter. So anyway, we have five fish, so... That did... nothing? Did that do anything? The mermaid statue didn't do... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie! I'm not gonna lie! My heart fucking stopped! Oh my god. Statues. This game has made me afraid of statues. I think she wants to give us something. A silver knife. I hope you can use it. I couldn't do it myself. I could. Oh, that's. That's a reference to, uh. That's a reference to The Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen. How fitting. Uh, so, for those of you who do not know, uh, Hans Christian Andersen had a tin- like, a lot of the stories that you know that were adapted by Hans Christian Andersen, uh, that were adapted from Hans Christian Andersen's original stories, they were kind of given a lot happier of an ending. And basically the deal with The Little Mermaid is that, uh, the only way that The Little Mermaid could keep her human form was to kill the prince that she had fallen in love with and let his blood drip onto her legs. But she couldn't do it. So because of that, she just turned to, she just turned to sea foam. I recommend you like look up the whole thing. Because I don't want to like stall around all episode trying to retell the whole thing from memory. This chess piece is called Queen. It's the most powerful due to the range of the movements she can perform. And I think I know what I have to do with it. I think I understand what you're trying to do. Give me the other knife. Oh boy. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Open your eyes. Oh. And the war is over. What happened? I don't know. I also close my eyes when I use the knife. The atmosphere seems more pleasant. Yeah. They're finally together. I mean, in death, but still. That's still... It, it's nicer than what we had to see earlier. I, why did you look around like that, Arya? I didn't hear anything. Maybe that... Uh-oh. 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 Huh? What's this? Uh <laughs> Okay, I did not I did not expect the game to quote me word for word there. A quill? It's really pretty. How strange. It's warm, but it's cold at the same time. Arya! Arya! Can you hear me? Who? Oh oh. Uh, what a dream? We fell asleep. You too? Yeah, I just woke up. Hmm, I think we fell asleep because of this room. We should get out of here. Yeah. Well, that was... Oh, no. Oh! Okay, so there's a door here now. Ooh, this is pretty. And also ominous. 
And also there's a statue. Oh no. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to be fucking chased. I feel it coming. Lewin, look at that! This view is beautiful! Aw, how nice. Oh no. Oh, it's just Lewin. <laughs> She's distracted. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. Oh, Lewin, do you... D Lewin. After what you fucking did for her earlier, it's time to end this. But why am I shaking? I can't hesitate now. I have to do it. Lewin, you know you don't want to. Lewin? <laughs> Can I tell you something? Huh? Uh... Do you remember what you told me before? When you told me you were a writer? I think we're a lot like each other. What do you mean? Pay attention. I'm going to tell you a story. Years ago, there was a little girl who loved reading, but no one her age shared her hobby. Other kids thought it was something boring, and they laughed at her for having such a strange hobby. The girl respected and understood that they didn't share her love for books, but she couldn't help feeling sad. Her parents, who wanted to hunt who wanted to keep her happiness from disappearing, took her to a library for the first time. Her eyes lit up when she saw so many books and so many other people of all ages who shared her hobby. Ever since, she visited the library every day and she grew up surrounded by books and happiness. Why are you telling me this? You told me your past before. I thought it would be fair if I told you mine. Let's be friends. Huh? Friends? It doesn't matter if no one wants to read your books. I'll read them and I'll tell you what I'll tell you what I think. I'm sure that if you don't give up, you'll be a famous writer. Stop. Please stop. Uh? You're making everything more complicated. Stop worrying about me. I don't want you to get involved in my affairs. Lewin! Oh, dear. Alright. I'm ready for the chase. Like, you saw. You saw how perfectly fucking positioned that statue was. Here we go. Oh, never mind. Another cutscene. Are you mad at me? No, it's my fault. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. It's okay, don't worry. I'll keep going a little longer, because like, I'm interested to see where this turns, and I have my eye on you, you marble piece of shit. Okay, okay, we're safe. What's this? Oh, it's just a candle. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's you again. At last, the protagonist and the narrator meet again. She had a determined look on her face, even if she did feel exhausted. You only narrate what I do? Yes, I only need to narrate what you do. Lewin is not important. But don't fret, Lewin. If you want, I can also narrate what you do. That's not necessary. Hmm, that reminds me. Are you sure you want to stay at his side? Why do you say that? If you're the protagonist and I'm the narrator, <laughs> Lewin could be the antagonist. 
Uh oh. She knows. What? That can't be true. It could be dangerous to stay by his side. Luan saved me many times. I think he's a good person. And now the guilt is sinking in. And I also think that you're a good person, narrator. Hmm. Me? A good person? You must feel so alone in this place. What do you think if we go back to our world together? There's something you do not understand. I am not human. I am a narrator. My duty is to narrate what you do. That is all. I do not feel any sympathy towards you. You are like a puppet to me. But... I am telling you that I am a narrator. I am not a boring human. You should calm down. I have no care for any human's life if they fulfilled their purpose for me. When they have sinned to entertain me enough, then once they die, I will shed no tears for them. Do you understand now? That's what being a narrator is. I am not a good person. And, above all, I am not a boring human. That's enough. What's happening to me? My head... Uh, it, it hurts. I think I should leave. I... No, what... I... Okay. Narrator. Boring human. I think I'm starting to understand. Uh... Ooh, is it time for a new section, and... That book's looking awfully... mystical? I think that's a magic circle drawn in the center. Possibly. Let's find out what this new genre is. Chapter 4. Oh boy! Oh boy! I'm not looking forward to this part. In fact, let's save. Let's save, and call it an episode. So, next time, on Let's Play Aria Story, jump scares, probably. Probably. I will see you guys then, and take care. Thanks for sticking around till the end. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribing and hitting that subscribe bell. If you want to see more of my content, there are some recommendations for you on screen right now. See you soon!